There's just a few places in New York City that my life as an adult have really shown me my mettle and really impacted my life. Dixon Place is one of those places. My first interactions with Dixon Place were seeing other people's work here and quickly realizing that this was the one place in the city that had the best of the salons of Europe with the Bowery vaudeville tradition. She had been in Paris and uh, she stayed at a man named Dixon's place there for a while. The, the actual owner was this man Daniel Dixon who has houses all over the world and he's traveling and he wasn't using his Paris apartment so he rented it out. I moved in there, he was going for the summer and I said you can stay here, you know, just for free and watch the place. He and his mother had a small press and the apartment had these built-in bookshelves and they were filled with these gorgeous leather-bound books and the binding, you know, it would say um, Black Spring, Henry Miller, Dixon Place in gold embossed letters. I met Ellie when she first opened uh, Dixon Place here in New York City on the Lower East Side which I guess was back in 91. At that time, Ellie was on First Street, and she was doing a Dixon Place right out of her own apartment. Um, there were chairs that she'd gotten from the street. It was all uh, in her own home. You know, Tuesday nights at Dixon Place, that's what the French people had called it there. So I started on Tuesday nights, and it was all, I would, you know, I would read something I'd written, and then I would introduce writers, you know, fiction writers, some of them who are now quite famous. And it started out as literary, and a lot of people were readers and reading, writers of books. But then uh, she saw that there was a lot of performance art going around, and she, she decided, well, I'll, I'll try and open it up to other kind of performers. So she did. So after about six months, well, after a few months, actually, it became five nights a week. This was the place and Ellie Colvin was the gatekeeper, where I could come with my new inquiry, my new passion, my new obsession, and try it out on her stage. It was very, a very small area, and um, maybe about 10 feet across, and maybe about five feet uh, in depth. She was at 258 Bowery. Uh, 257 Bowery across the street was an old vaudeville playhouse. We tried to push every boundary. Can we do stuff on the fire escape? Can we do stuff in the backyard? Can we do stuff on the furniture, under the furniture? At one time or another, anybody that was doing performance downtown probably did a show at Dixon Place. Blue Man Group did their first ever performance um, at Dixon Place. And then John Leguizamo, in his very, very early career, developed um, a you know, a lot of his early work there. There were the five lesbian brothers who were five women performers from Wow Cafe who wrote plays but also performed plays and other things. I know they did a show there. The Dixon Place community is, of course, huge because of all the artists that have come through over the years. You know, Dixon Place, here was the limits. It was like Mozart with four keys. It was like, here it is. This is it. You know, a 10 square foot, this is it. Do it. Clip on lights. You can change the change the colors. Do it. We are, I think, the only organization in the city that is purely a laboratory for all these different artistic disciplines. One of the things that made Ellie and Dixon Place special is that you would always get paid. You know, we're still one of those last bastions of downtown performance work. Thousands of artists do their work at Dixon Place, and it's been that way thousands per year for generations. Tens of thousands of artists have been supported by Dixon Place. Tens of thousands of artists. I think it's great. I think um, Dixon Place has, has paved the way for many emerging artists throughout their careers. I wanted to create a, a space that provided anything an artist's imagination could, could come up with, any, anything that they might need. Even though it's not on a huge scale, it's, it's here, you know, and that's the main thing that I wanted to do, and I, I think we have succeeded in that.